when trying to use a module that's not installed in the standard uh, directory uh, of Perl, that is one of the directories that can be found in the at ink array, then in order to allow Perl to load that module, you need to change that at ink in some way. And there are several ways to do that. And I'm going to go over the each one of, each one of them. The each one of them has its advantages and disadvantages. So you have to know which one you're using, which one you need in, in for your specific use case. So the at ink itself is hard coded into Perl when, it, when it, Perl was compiled, but you can change it on the fly for some um, for any Perl script. So one of the things you can do is set the environment variable Perl 5 lib or even Perl lib and um, then to and add to it pass to the place where the module can be found so for example in bash you would write this export and then uh, export uh, this uh, variable giving this pass this adds the pass to lib into the at ink at the beginning so the module that's installed here will be found the first so in that can be useful when you're trying to you're trying out a new you're trying a new module or new version of the same module and instead of installing it in a common environment you install it in some private environment so that's one of the things and but that means that every script that sees this environment will include will have this uh, pass in the at ink then you can do something else you can put this block code in the in your code in your script this will be executed before any use statement gets executed actually before any use statement that after this row so this gets executed before any use statement use statement that is below this and what it does it unshifts this pass to the at ink meaning putting at the be beginning of it this can be done manually like this or a probably better way to do this use lib and pass to lib so put this above the modules that you want to uh, make sure that it will be found within this directory and then this pass goes at the beginning of the at ink these are both good for the specific script but they won't interfere with any other script but it will m change the behavior of that script no matter who runs it and then there is this one the last one here that changes the pass for the specific ex execution so I can run Perl minus I and the pass to the lib and then it will execute and then this name of the script that for this that this specific execution of the script will add this pass to the beginning of at ink so just go over this if you want to use for every script that sees this environment variable this actually this one in low, uh, below this if you want to make sure that every run of this specific script no matter who runs it or when and this if you want to make sure check a change for the specific execution of this script